Are you very ambitious and want to try to be productive all day, but you find yourself tired, drained, and often are distracted? So how can we be productive all day? So the bad news is that unfortunately, we can't do productive tasks all day. The good news is that not all of the work that we do actually fits into that category of productive tasks. Many of our tasks that we do when we're working are also creative. You can't do productive tasks all day, but you can do productive and creative tasks for a very long period of time. So instead of asking ourselves the question how we can be productive all day, a better question to ask would be, when are we more capable of doing productive tasks? And when are we more capable of doing creative tasks? When can we do which kind of tasks better? In order to answer this question, let's distinguish between three kinds of tasks. So creative tasks, productive tasks, and deliberate practice, because these involve very different brain mechanisms. And also it's very different with these, how much focus you need, how much you need to be alert, and how difficult it actually is to do that task. So creative tasks are basically when we come up with new ideas, brainstorming, and in general, making new connections between things that we didn't think were connected before. And then productive tasks involve a lot of linear thinking. And these are tasks where we need a lot of focus, a lot of discipline. And they're also extremely tiring, but they're not the most difficult of all. The most difficult tasks of all is deliberate practice. And most of your productive tasks probably don't fit into this category because deliberate practice is focusing on your weaknesses, having very clear goals on how you want to improve those. And they're also very specific. So deliberate practice is all about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone as far as possible. So back to our initial question, when should we do which of these tasks? According to Stanford neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, the first eight hours after we've woken up are those in which our adrenaline levels are the highest and also our dopamine levels. So the reason why we need epinephrine to do productive tasks is that epinephrine they make us very alert and if you want to do productive tasks you need to be very alert because these are very difficult you have to actually think about them and dopamine increases our motivation and also our focus and then after these eight hours the next eight hours of the day our serotonin levels are much higher and our dopamine and epinephrine levels go down and contrary to dopamine serotonin makes us feel more relaxed dopamine is more about seeking the external seeking something outside being motivated to chase after something to pursue something where serotonin is puts you more in the present makes you more aware and relaxed and that's why this is the time to do creative tasks because when it comes to productive and creative tasks for productive tasks we need brain regions such as the prefrontal cortex which expend a lot of energy whereas with creative tasks these involve brain regions like for example the basal ganglia and in general subcortical brain regions which use much less energy and they <clears throat> whereas the prefrontal cortex with that brain region we decide what we're going to do next this these brain regions are very automatic and by the way neuroscience the system that includes the prefrontal cortex and so on is referred to as the top-down mechanism and the one with the subcortical regions is referred to as the bottom-up mechanism. You've probably noticed yourself that you tend to have your best ideas when you're walking, simply taking a break, relaxing, jogging or taking a shower and that is because when you do those kinds of activities you can simply let your mind wander and that's why this is the best time for creative tasks or to come up with new ideas when you're relaxed. Now when it comes to deliberate practice, deliberate practice is so tiring that even world-class experts and athletes and so forth 
even they can only take to up to four to five hours a day, which Andrew Huberman would refer to as three to four ultradian cycles. So ultradian cycles are basically 90 minute cycles. That is also more or less about four to five hours. So when it comes to deliberate practice, you don't want to necessarily do it as many people say first thing in the morning. You do want it to be one of the first things in the morning. But if you do it the if you do it the very first thing in the morning, the problem with that is that, as a study showed, it takes some time after you wake up until you can actually perform at your best. So I would say about one to two hours after you wake up, you actually start doing deliberate practice. So the reason why you want to stick to these ultradian cycles is that after 90 minutes, your dopamine levels, so at the beginning of your task, the dop your dopamine levels will be very high, but with time dopamine will decrease more and more. And after 90 minutes, you'll be kind of depleted of dopamine, which is why after maximum 90 minutes, you should definitely take a break. And in general, if you want to be productive all day, sleep is extremely important. There's no way we can do work for a very long time if we don't get enough sleep. So if you want to know how you can actually sleep better, you can watch this video here.